They provide critical fire and medical services to people living in the outskirts of Bear County, and they use your money to do it. But there's little regulation over how emergency service districts are managed. The defenders first began investigating the lack of oversight for ESDs a year ago. Myra Arthur now shows you what has changed in the last year and what has not. As a man connected to multiple Bear County ESDs is under investigation by the Texas Rangers. This is the man at the center of that Texas Rangers investigation. That's after a Bear County audit raised questions about the finances of multiple ESDs that Gil Perez has been affiliated with. He's the current administrator of ESD 8. I have no comment, ma'am. The defenders have asked questions about more than half a million tax dollars poured into a new fire station in ESD 8 over the last two years. That fire station has yet to be built. Again, Perez told us. I'll have no comment because I can't speak for the district. So who can? Not Bear County, says Commissioner Kevin Wolf. This is a problem I kind of have with the legislation in that there is very little oversight. There's very little oversight here at the local level, and there's very little oversight at the state level. State legislation created ESDs, but gives little authority to the counties that they serve. The boards and the ESDs are essentially autonomous taxing entities. Again, the reality is I don't have the legitimate power to do anything other than appoint their board members. The county has revised the application to become an ESD board member. It now states training is recommended, something not mentioned before. Board members are volunteers who can hire and pay administrators. So we have board members that previously have not had to meet strict qualifications hiring someone right. to handle hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's right. Is that an issue to you? It is. Now, Wolf says finding volunteers to fill these positions is extremely difficult. The state has begun requiring board members in recent years to con take continuing education courses. Now, since the defenders began investigating ESDs a year ago, the Bear County Office of Emergency Management has created a uniform policy that all ESDs can follow if they choose to.